Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Mr. John Simmons. <laughs> Good evening. I'll say it again. Good evening. Let me get one thing out of the way before I go much further, okay? I did not want to do Teletubbies. <laughs> Let me explain why, because I had a call from the BBC and it went a little bit something like this. It was like, uh, what, me to do children's television? Children's television? Do you know who I am? I'm a gangster. <laughs> what do you mean a fur? I can't mean no fur suit. I'm a gangster, you get me? And then they started to talk about the money. <laughs> and I was, you before, I'm a gang... How much? Uh -oh. <laughs> and I have problems, I have issues, I tell you, I don't even want to be a comedian because it is not glamorous enough. If I could do it, if I had the skills, I would be a rapper. Because they get more respect, they get better looking women. I'll tell you something right now, a rapper does not even have to be good looking to get beautiful. Look at Jay-Z. <laughs> and I shouldn't be too hard on him, you know, because there was someone in my class at school looked just like Jay-Z. I used to date her. <laughs> you know how it is, people. And let, let's get serious, because right now we have a new Pope. <laughs> Everyone was celebrating. Listen, don't celebrate too soon or too long because he won't be here for long. He's 78. How can you get a job at 78? It makes me want to wake up my grandfather off the couch and send him back out to work. Come on, granddaddy. You're not bringing any money into the house. You're younger than the Pope. <laughs> Man, I got a theory, people. I'm telling you this for free, okay? Pope John Paul was dead two weeks before they announced it. Remember, they were wheeling him out in the wheelchair with the interpreter. He couldn't talk. He couldn't walk. But they had the interpreter, all he was doing was twitching. He wasn't a liar that was in the chair. <laughs> Making him look like, I am telling you. And the interpreter was crazy, he got me because he was like. <laughs> he says, bless you. He says, choose condoms. <laughs> Listen, the Pope had never had sex. How are you going to take sexual advice from an 84-year-old virgin? <laughs> and I'm telling you this for free as well, people. I'm big on music. I'm very proud of what music is doing, because right now, music has made it good to recognize the big butt. You know what I'm talking about? The big, bootylicious butt. What I call the African butt. But in the UK right now, at least, they don't recognize the African butt the way they should recognize it. No. Apparently, the best bootylicious butt in the UK is not, oh, let me tell you, it's not Jennifer Lopez, no. It's not Beyonce. I read in a magazine that the most bootylicious butt, the perfect butt, is Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> Sex in the City, what butt? <laughs> she ain't got a decent butt. Let me tell you something, even in the privacy of your own Dutch homes, you guys know the butt is very important during lovemaking. Lovely bit of spanking on the butt, you know that. Psh, down, psh, spank the ass, psh, spank the ass, bring back to psh, the days of spanking the butt. The best kind of butt I call bootylicious is a sort of African butt where to spank that butt, you need to take a run up from across town. <laughs> this butt is blocking out the skin. We call that shit an eclipse butt, okay? You rush up to that butt, you smack that butt, psh, it smacks you back. Psh. You could not smack Sarah Jessica on the butt, she'd be at the back of the theater. <laughs> that's not foreplay, that's domestic violence. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. And you know what, music is very important right now because you know what's happening, I noticed for Dutch people, you guys are not crazy about British culture as we are in the UK because I cannot find coverage of the Michael Jackson trial over here like in the UK. I'll tell you something for free, Michael has just started his defence, okay? And he's in trouble because do you know, I kid you not, that they're now calling character witnesses for this. And when you're in trouble, they are going to call a witness to say what he saw, a character witness is going to be Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I am not making this up, they are calling Stevie Wonder as a witness. How is that going to? Stevie, 
What did you see? Nothing. Case dismissed. <laughs>